Episode one of the Get Out of My Way sessions. First song we're going to talk about is the title track. The first song that was sent to me by Matt McEwen, that gentleman right there, and uh, had the approval of my wife Stephanie. As a matter of fact, the first time she heard it. Uh, I think her words were... Do you remember what her words were? I think she said, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so uh, we knew we were on to something good there. Uh, Get Out of My Way uh, is so strong that it made the title track. Get out of my way! The attitude of this song, it, it, it gave me my swagger back. Uh, it's a statement more than anything uh, that you're, you know, nothing's going to get in my way. You're not going to stop me. I'm going to win. I'm coming for you. Watch out. Uh, the lyrics are. The, the lyrics say that. The music says that. The whole thing. So it's. It's. I'm. I'm very proud to have this song as the title track and this man writing it. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to to write this one. I, I had wanted to sort of come out with a bang and give John a song that that was really kind of a a rocker type of song and to sort of set the tone for the rest of the project and uh, I just came up with the with the instrumental track and sent it to, to John and then he came up with the lyric and it was I think my favorite thing in that song is takes one shot my aim is true it was just it's got so much attitude in it and it's something that that I really like about John as a front man and and as a, an artist as a singer is that he's got this kind of attitude he's got this kind of swagger uh, without being a jerk, because he's a he's a nice guy, he's a great guy. Don't tell anybody I said it. But but he's also got this this attitude that is kind of snarky and, and kind of sarcastic without being jerky. And that's I just love that. And I, I I told him I freely admitted to him that I wanted to live vicariously through him as a as a front man on this project. So it was very good to uh, for him to bring that kind of attitude to this title track to get out of my way because we wanted something that was really punchy. And that would be really great live. We wanted it because you know one of the things that John is is known for is his live performance, and so we wanted it to be something that would translate to the stage uh, really effectively. And and uh, uh, that remains to be seen. We haven't performed these songs live yet, which yes. is an exciting prospect yeah. because uh, I think uh, I'm going to be able to be a part of that, and that that's going to be very exciting. So anyway. Uh, the other thing about Get Out of My Way that I thought was very important is for the drums to be really punchy. John's a drummer, and uh, I wanted it to be something that, that he was excited about. And uh, when when we were doing the scratch vocals for this, I'll never forget, because we tracked the real <laughs> vocals down at, at Billy Chapin's studio, uh, but we did the scratch vocals here, and we are just trying to pick out keys and get the song ready, whatever. When he started out with this Don't You Want to Live thing, First of all, I thought it was great about what kind of a question is that? Don't you want to live? You're like, I'm coming for you. I loved it. It was great. It was very aggressive. And then he did that, that crazy John Nikoloff scream thing that I cannot duplicate. You can do it. No, man. I, I, maybe back in the day I when I was it. wearing spandex, maybe <laughs> back in the hair metal days. But it was it was so cool. And I I, I asked him. I said, You're going to do that thing on the day, right? And the real thing. You're going to do the, you know, the John thing. So I'm thrilled that this starts off the record because it. It has that "Don't you want to live" thing that, that was great. It, this song, that lyric, that little piece, set the tone for the record. It set the tone for the recording process. Uh, it, it just—I can't say any more than it set the tone. It really set the tone. This is the best way to start the record off. Uh, I can see live performances being the same way. You start off with this song, with that attitude, and there's there's no stopping you. Uh, my favorite lyric on it is uh, you can't stop me I can't lose done my time I paid my dues mm. I say get out of my way and you have man you, you've done the thing you 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 paid your dues you know it's been a lot of years yeah it's been a lot of years good years but uh, this is this uh, this steps it up a notch this really takes it up a notch this this record this the song the the, the production uh, Billy Chapin and, and you mixing this thing really just I'm amazed at how how good it sounds, and and it sounded good when we sent it to uh, John Kersley. Hmm. 
and he kicked it up another notch. So uh, it's it's pretty amazing. The I'm, I'm extremely proud of this record. The reviews we're getting are amazing. Uh, everybody loves it. So you know we're on to something good here. So and John, I think this tune is especially good. John and I've been talking a lot about. Uh, our our producer Billy Chapin and I have songs that are are placed in in professional sports games, and we think just this the message of get out of my way would be perfect for like racing or Absolutely. football or something like that. You know anything where you have to reach a goal and you're proving something. I think the song is perfect. It's anything. As a matter of fact, that's that's good that you said that because it's it's you're trying to attain a goal. You're trying to reach a goal in every aspect of life. The sports. Uh, your personal life, your your job, uh, music. So it this pertains to everything. So it's 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 a great song all the way around. The lyric, the music. Happy to happy to have it as number one song. Awesome. That's get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. 